This is fix.pos and we'll be showing you in this video how to manage your categories, your products and services, and your inventory. First we'll go ahead and start with your categories. So we are on the home page on your dashboard. To reach the dashboard you just have to click this icon. Now if we go to products you will see the categories option and inventory you will see the categories option both products and inventory they use the same categories so I'm gonna go ahead and click categories uh, with categories you can create your own categories and we have the preloaded one in the system uh, the ones that are preloaded you can decide to opt in to enable them or disable them all you have to do is go through and check if you offer the service or not and it would either show them or hide them. Now you can create your own categories which are right here so we can go ahead and create a category right now called um, let's say Motorola X River and we can set that category to be listed under a, a subcategory for example under cell phone repair let's say so this would be under services and repairs and cell phone repair if I go ahead and click create category and you can see here you created a category that will pop up on the POS everywhere Motorola X repair now from this page you have the option to of course add the image of this category and then you can bulk add products. With bulk add products if we click it you the system will automatically create all these products and services for you and the POS so you don't have to manually create it one by one. So let's say general diagnostics we want to add water damage diagnostic and crack screen we do not want to add the other services so we can leave them blank we can click add all and that's it as you can see it added three products for you so if you click any of the products it will take you to the actual product page that was created and if we go to a new order just to continue with this demo on um, Motorola X general diagnostic uh, if we go to we can type it in as you can see these are the three services that added for you or we can go through the product cut catalog we put it under service repairs cell phone repair right here motor relax repair we can click it turn diagnostic water them and that's it so with products we'll go ahead and jump into products with products you have three different two different options sorry the first option would be using our preloaded products so if we go to settings and general this right here auto populate POS with popular services such as iPhone iPad and Samsung Galaxy repairs if you put it set it to yes as new devices show up in the market the fixed up POS will automatically add them into the system and all you have to do is adjust the price which I'll show you how it works if you do not want the service simply press no and you can upload your own services as you wish if we go to products I'm gonna go ahead and view products and services And this will take a second to load. This will basically preload all, since we have it enabled, it will load all the services that are in the POS. As you can see here, Galaxy S22 Plus, Galaxy S22 5G, iPads, and all you have to do is change the price. And you can update them one by one, or you can scroll all the way down and update all at once. So you just have to go once, upset your prices and that's it now 
you can create your own products of course like we did earlier with the category we created three products those are our own products and as you can see they're not preloaded so I'm gonna go ahead and create a product from scratch we're gonna go right here at product slash service And let's see here, we're gonna put a name, let's say we're offering iPhone X and X as special combo. And we're putting the price 199. Now you have, as is it taxable or not? keep it checked if it is taxable is it active or not if this is unchecked this will not pop up on the POS when you try to add it on any order is it a service or not basically if you check mark this or not well let's go here the status whether it's any of these statuses and the location if this is check marked which means it's a service these will show up if it's not check marked, which means it's assumed this is just a product, it won't have the status because products are just quick sales. So for example, if you're adding a product for iPhone charging cable, you do not need to mark it as a service because it's just a product that's sold and that's it. You don't need to worry about managing the status of that product. So for now, I'm gonna go ahead and we set the price and I'm gonna click create product. The product's created and if we go into the POS screen here and type in iPhone combo, as you can see, it pops up. Now for the price, as you can see here, it was $199.99. There's the option to show price or ask for price. So in special cases where you wanna create one service and the price changes based on the device um, you can switch it to ask for price and press save what that will do is the next time you come in here and you type in the service it will ask you to enter the price and that's the price that will show on the receipt again this is for special cases where you have one generic service such as, let's say, laptop cleaning. And sometimes you need to charge more or less for a laptop, so you can do ask for price. For now, we're gonna switch it back to show price and save. Uh, so creating a product, super simple. The product is created. Now you have a lot of features around it that you can take advantage of if you'd like. And we'll go ahead and go through them now so first one we'll go ahead and do is the variation and inventory I ask you does the product have variations such as different colors or sizes yes or no in this case since we're doing the demo we're gonna go ahead and click yes so the variation name and price so what we'll do here is I'm gonna change the title to just iPhone special combo screen and battery let me save that and then when I come here I'm gonna do yes we have variation X I iPhone X and the price for that is gonna be one seventy nine ninety nine and iPhone with the XS and this one we're gonna do it so we created two different variations if we save it or well, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what it would look like let me just start a new order iPhone X combo oh. iPhone combo special if we click it it will show you both of the add features we added the variation and you can select and it would set the price based on that variation 
The next feature here is upselling. So basically what it is, if you want to sell another product when when you enter this into the POS, if you want to try and sell another product and you want to be reminded about it, you can come on here and let's real quick, I'm going to create another product called iPhone tempered glass X XS price is $19.99 and it's not a service so I'm going to keep it unchecked. I'm going to create the product. So this product created, I'm going to close it. Under upselling, we're going to go ahead and type tempered glass X. This is the one we just created. As you can see, these are preloaded temper glass services from the POS, but we're going to use the one we created. And that's it. Do they get a discount if they add this temper glass with the sale or not? You decide we're not going to do any discounts. So I'm going to go ahead and save. And we'll go here and type in iPhone special combo again iPhone X as you can see promotions do do you want to add this this is a great way to keep your techs or whoever's working out up front reminded to attempt and sell your screen protectors or whatever it may be um, apply items and I will add it on here the next feature would be the product details and with this one as you can see here under details there is nothing what you can do is you can add whatever you'd like on here whether a pre-checklist or anything else um, for example if what are we doing iphone special compass screen and battery part being checked um, battery health below or uh, we're gonna do a yes or no we're gonna create the so this one will automatic every time this service is added this will show up on the order which we'll go ahead and save iPhone special combo customer not interested um, Oh, um, the order would need to be saved, uh, which we do not have it saved, but once it's saved, it will show up on here if the pre-check. Now, product commissions, you can choose to provide commissions to your techs or employees when they sell this product. You can choose a flat amount or a percentage. So let's say whichever let's pick with percentage so the amount would be 10 percent let's say commission out of this amount if discount applied basically how this works is this is the price the original price so this is what the customer should be paying if for any reason you discount this to let's say 150 your commission's gonna drop based on what this number is. Now, if you do not want to drop commission, you can keep this as 10% as well, or you can drop it to 5% because that discount was applied up to you. And once you save this, and the commissions only uh, takes effect once the customer pays for the order. So until the customer pays, the commission does not get credited to the employee. And you can check your commission, employee commissions under reports, employee commissions right here. Now the last feature on here is the categories, which we went through earlier, but you can assign this specific service to whichever category you'd like. So 
we have iPhone repair I'm gonna go ahead and set it to iPhone X you can set it to multiple categories save the only thing this does is if you decide to use the product cat catalog except instead of this it will show up under the category let's go on cell phone iPhone iPhone X there we go and you can add it this way now the last feature we'll go with with products are the devices for sale so if devices for sale you can opt in to do it manually like this add product and service and create a service for or a product for each product you're selling however we have it integrated into the system so it's much simpler if you go under your name and go to store devices here you can create store devices and then list them for sale so for now i'm going to go iphone i'm going to be selling iphone 13 it's a gold color and you can fill out as much information as you'd like here it's for sale for $5.99 once you fill all this information out um, since these are store devices you can set the status to them so let's say you just got this and then you need to refurbish it you can sell it, set it to repairing and then save the device this will list all your devices your employees would know what needs to be repaired and whatnot so let's say this was repaired and it's ready for to be listed for sale all you have to do is edit change the status for sale and that's it you can print the ticket the label for the device to put it for sale and then if we go right here we can search by this this is the serial number that's it that's the iphone for sale and that's it now you can access any devices for sale under the product catalog for sale section and that's the phone we have for sale now the next chapter is the inventory before we jump into inventory we just wanted to clear the difference between your products and your inventory so best example would be what we have created here i'm gonna go ahead and click if you click on any of the services you have on the pos screen it takes you to the product page and this is the I'm gonna go to the main product this we were in the that specific you can edit special details on each service um, we're gonna be here so the product and inventory the difference between product and inventory is product can have multiple inventory attached to it so for example this product right here is the iPhone special combo screen and battery with that said this product will use up two different inventory items from what you have in inventory so your product is not the same as your inventory so on here when you add a service this will not pull up anything from your inventory this will only pull up products that you've created so once you create any inventory items you have to create a product attached to that inventory okay so the first thing we're gonna go ahead and to do with inventory is let's create some inventory SKUs uh, if we go to inventory right here this will show you all your inventory features that you have in the POS so the first one we said we're going to go ahead and create inventory this you have two ways of creating inventory 
you can manually create an inventory SKU or you can bulk insert it. Bulk insert is the way to go, but I'll go ahead and show you both ways. If we go ahead and click manually create inventory SKU, this will take you to a blank page where you can enter um, the product, which is your inventory. Uh, let's say iPhone X battery and yeah. You can type in the SKU for it and you can assign it to a category or whatnot, but we'll keep it simple. Item and the SKU and create. So you've created an inventory into your system. Of course, it does not show up anywhere and you don't have any inventory added to it as of yet. But we'll stay we'll stay here for now. We'll we'll come back to this one later. I'm gonna go ahead and inventory there is the bulk insert and receive inventory so with that said if we click on it this one's basically a copy and paste you can copy from any table or if you order from your suppliers they send you emails with your order confirmation you can copy the order details from the email and paste it on here so for the sake of this demo i prepared this which is basically a work order that you uh, sorry an invoice from your supplier that's the SKU the title the quantity order and the price so all you have to do we're gonna go ahead and copy it and you would do the same from your email or whatnot we're gonna close this we're gonna come here click to bulk import And we're just going to paste what we just copied and then use this information. So this basically what this does is it will preload everything on here for you and you just have to review the information. So on here, include, include this one. We're going to switch it. Do not include because that's just the title quantity price. Now we have to attach the headers for each one. This one is this queue this one is the title this is the quantity order and this is the price per unit so we'll just review that information make sure everything looks good and then uh, what this will do is it will do two things for you it will create those inventory items on the system and it will also create an a work order that you receive that you're waiting to receive this inventory. I'm going to go ahead and click submit, and that's it. it that this was the supplier that was selected when, before we clicked submit, so we attached it to the supplier, and they created a inventory order for you. We'll come back to this order later, just so we can go through step by step so we'll go back to inventory screen and next we just want to see how to search for your existing inventory so if we go right here search existing inventory SKUs we can come on here and we can type whichever we'd like whatever we'd like so for now, for the sake of this demo, we created these inventories. We'll go iPhone XR back glass white. iPhone XR back glass. And we use the bulk import from for this. And as you can see, I added the title and the SKU. And that's it. So next we're gonna go ahead and receive the inventory. So once you make an order for inventory, you have to receive it. We did that, we did that, we created the order, but we never received it yet. So to receive inventory, there are three different ways you can receive inventory into your system. First one, we'll go ahead and do the manual way. The manual way is definitely not recommended, but it's available for you. 
so what, what I'm going to do is search existing inventory and we're going to go ahead and pick any service and once you pick any uh, inventory you come on here and you can add new stock if you click it you can say I got 10 more their cost was $20 each insert new stock and as you can see your current the current stock on this was 7 we added 10 and now it's 17 and that's it you've added inventory the second way of doing it would be through the bulk insert which we've already done well we've already created the order we never received it yet so if you go through here it will automatically create an order and then under receive slash view open inventories if we click on that as you can see there is one order we're waiting to receive which is the one we created i'm going to load it yep this is it what you will do is receive order and you can receive them one by one if you'd like receive or you can receive all for the sake of this video we're gonna only receive these two right now so we receive five of five from this so once you market receive this this will now be added to your inventory that you have five in stock i'm gonna go ahead and close this and go back to that inventory screen the last way of receiving inventory would be assuming you created an order already which we did we're gonna go to scan this is called the scan app if we go to it i'm gonna open it on a new page so this this one right here you can bulk receive inventory and this works great with a barcode scanner so i'm gonna go to bulk receive inventory so all you have to do is since we made an order to receive these uh, we've already received these in the system we have not received these i'm gonna copy this queue and all you would realistically do is scan it with your barcode scanner and as you can see here you're we're expecting five of them so all you have to do is scan it five times with your barcode scanner and it will keep adding the numbers for you so it will if you scan it five times this will change to five out of five so right now since i don't have a barcode scanner i'm going to just click confirm receive it shows that we only received one if i paste the same number again as you can see we're only expecting four now since we already received one and we can keep doing it and it will keep dropping of course like i said if you have the barcode scanner you just keep on this page you keep scanning and it will keep increasing this you don't have to go back and forth so if i try it again that's it there is no new stock to be received we received all five so the we went through all the ways to receive the inventory we're gonna go ahead and open this order again and receive as you can see there are only two items left that we did not receive we're gonna receive all of them so we've received everything on the system and if we go back to receive there is no orders open because we've received everything we've been expecting so now we have to assign inventory to a service or to an order and for that there are also multiple ways of doing it uh, all depends on your preference we're gonna go back to the inventory screen though the first way to do it would be to set it up so it would automatically deduct from your inventory when you add the service to your pos to an order 
and to do that what we will do is we will go to the product I'm gonna go home and we'll go to products view products and services and let's see which we added these so let's pick the iPhone XR charging port I'm gonna search for an iPhone XR charging port service okay good. we have it preloaded so all I have to do is I'm gonna load product so on here there's what's called um, inventory items required whatever you add on here will automatically get deducted from the your inventory when the serve with this service gets added to an order so um sorry charging port this is the one we just created and how many do we use we just use one charging port per order so that's it so if we go ahead and create a new order and let's just pick an existing customer and we do iPhone XR charging port and save it as you can see here from inventory needed slash used it automatically deducted from our inventory one iPhone XR and it attached it to this order that's one way of doing it the other way of doing it would be to manually add it now to manually add it you would have to come onto this page let's say we've mm, we've ended up using another charging port and you manually have to add one we're gonna go add an inventory item needed and search add from existing inventory so i can type iphone xr charging port as you can see we only have four in stock now since we attached one and if i attach this we've used two so far and that will deduct our inventory now to only three left in stock the last way to add to it would be to we're going to copy the order number and we're going to go ahead and go to the inventory we're going to go back to the scan app so with the scan app ideally would be open on a, like an ipad with a barcode scanner with it and on here we're gonna scan type in this queue of the inventory item we, we're using which is again they should be all labeled when you receive the shipment from your supplier so you just scan that and this page will show you how many you have in stock and if there's any new stock that you're expecting on the way now the iphone xr assign inventory to an order we will copy this order number and again the labels that are printed from the POS they have a barcode scan on them so you can scan this order number and it will show you that this order has one service and it shows you already added two charging ports on there but let's say we had to use a third one on this for some reason I'm gonna click select and that's it so this technically would take two scans and a click and that's it your inventory is added if we go ahead and refresh this we've used three different charging ports in this order and that's three different ways of adding invent assigning inventory to a service and order now once in a while you need to reconcile your inventory so if we click on inventory there's an audit slash reconcile inventory if we click on it this will basically list all the inventory that you have created yourself and it will show you the price your average price and the quantity you have in stock so once a month you can open this list and go through and make sure your inventory is updated properly these are the ones we created 
and as you can see the charging port there is only two left which is correct because we used three and there's five and five and five from the other ones and let's say you had three defective batteries and you need to return them you only have two left you just have to come in here and save and that will update the iphone xr battery quantity to two now since we mentioned earlier that your products and inventory are two different items and they're not related to each other you can link them we just showed you how to do it with the i'm going to click it again clicking up service here will take you to its product page this is the product page we showed you one way of doing it which would be going to each product and linking the inventory to it now you can reverse that as well for products i wouldn't recommend doing it for services but for products you would be able to do it and i'm gonna go ahead and do a quick example of that for you i'm gonna go ahead and create a new inventory item let's say we got you got a shipment and um, let's see here instead of doing it this way with the bulk because there is a feature i would like you to see the bulk insert i showed you how you can copy from the supplier what and do it there is a need template you can download this template if you download it and open it up it would look just like this what you can do is this would work for your existing inventory or new inventory you order if your supplier does not give you an invoice you can come on here and type in lightning cable lightning cable to um iphone type c to usb you can go ahead and create as many inventory items as you want on here parts or quantity ordered and you can go as much as you want and all you have to do once you're ready is copy it come here to this page again and paste it use this information and this is the title the SKU price period this is the quantity Oh, no, yeah. Okay, now the supplier used just a quick memo. Uh, if you add a new supplier, it will reset this page and you have to start it again. Uh, I'm going to keep the same supplier. I'm going to click Submit and Create Inventory. So what we did is we just created three new inventory items uh, in no time. We're going to go ahead and receive this order just so we can have some stock I'm gonna receive all of them so we just ordered these and we received them so what we can do now since these are products that we are selling you can go into uh, let's see here we're gonna go to our inventory search existing inventory and we can search from for it here this is the one of the ones we created if you open it on here as you can see here we have 12 in stock you can link a product to this um, with that said if you click create here you can set the title and we're selling it for 1999 uh, we can ignore all of this create as product and it creates the product for you you don't have to worry about doing anything and under product map to an inventory it will just say this is map to an inventory so this is connected with i'm going to click the back this is connected with this one so whatever changes happen to this will be reflected with this one and i'm gonna copy this 
if we go to new order and we type in this this will pop up since we create linked it to a product and when you add it it will tell you how many you have in stock this is a summary of the inventory the products and services and the categories if you have any questions feel free to reach out to us otherwise thanks for watching